Hey Taurus, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. This is going to be your reading for the first 12 days of September. We're calling it the uh, weekly reading, but it's actually 12 days. I'm trying to make sure that I can get at least three weeklies in for you guys. The monthlies are already out there. They're all love readings. They came out pretty nice for most of you. They came out really good. So uh, please check them out. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for the first 12 days of September 2020, what does Taurus or anyone with Taurus placements need to know about this reading, please? Please send through the most important messages. This behind the mask, it popped out while I was talking to you when I first turned on the camera. Now it popped out again and also came out for Capricorn. All right, what's at the bottom? New beginnings. Okay, excellent. All right, so you're quietly planning a new beginning. Very simple. Planning in action, behind the mask, new beginnings. It's a whole new path, new journey, new cycle, brand new cycle coming in. This is like putting an end to an old cycle and starting a brand new one. And there's planning and action been going on behind the scenes. All right, so yours is coming out much different than the Capricorn rating. All right, so for Taurus, what else do we need to know here, please? Planning an action behind the mask and new beginnings. Yin Yang, trying to uh, balance things out here. Deceit, ooh, okay, so, well, maybe it is a little more like... <laughs> More like Capricorn's reading than I thought. Okay, what else does Taurus need to know? I feel like, um, well, let's get a couple more. What else do we need to know? Anxiety and Angel of Strength. All right, what's happening here? Angel of Balance is well at the bottom. Wow. All right, let's talk about this. So in, Angel of Balance is a lot like this yin-yang. You're trying to balance something out here. And you're pulling on your inner strength here with uh, Angel of Strength. There's something you're very, there's a lot of anxiety here. You're stressed out about something. I feel like, I'm going to be honest with you, that I feel like you're doing something kind of behind somebody's back. It doesn't have to be awful, but it has to do with your new beginning. Like you're planning, you're going to take some kind of action, you're being really quiet about it. If not you, it's someone else. But I mean, it's really coming out to me as if it's yours. Um, this is pretty straightforward. Let's get some after tarot on it. These are short readings. I didn't expect yours to go this quickly. Um, in fact, let's, yeah, let's get on it and we're going to do them individually. That way, um, we can stretch out your reading a little bit. Let's talk about planning and action. What comes next with this planning and action, please? For anyone with Taurus placements. Yeah, look at this. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could um, have Pisces in your chart. Seeing things from another perspective and doing things behind the scenes. The moon. There's something going on now. You might have. You might know about someone who's being deceptive. You might know about it. And you're planning action. It could be a Pisces. Let's talk about behind the mask. See, this could all be you uncovering something. Um, you might be dealing with... Uh, a Pisces here. Strong Pisces coming through. Oh my gosh, the tower just fell out as well. You're blowing something up quite like you're not letting them know about it though. You could also be dealing with the Scorpio. Tell me about behind the mask here. What comes next in the situation? Behind the mask, just one card. What comes next in the situation has to do with behind the mask? Yeah, oh Someone is being greedy. This is Pisces. You've got Pisces and Scorpio all over your reading already, and we just started. Somebody who's being greedy. Someone who's being overindulgent. Somebody who's being, um, this is not a good nine of cups. So you, I feel as though you, Taurus, know about someone who's doing this. Unless you have a lot of Pisces in your chart, maybe even Scorpio here, and this is you. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, new beginnings. Why is new beginnings here, please? Taurus reading. Yeah. Quickly moving into action. We have here the nine of 
wands. And in this nine of wands, there's somebody standing beside the person who's been all beaten up. So there might be someone who has your back or you might have someone else's back. And you're shooting for a new beginning. It's going to happen very quickly. Um, I don't know if it's you are going to go for something quickly or someone else is. Tell me about yin yang. Yin yang and angel of balance feel like the same thing. Can we look at yin yang and angel of balance, please? I feel as though, yep, we got the lovers. This is a very balanced energy. Um, I feel as though you're making a decision, but you're trying to weigh out your options. You're trying to make sure it's a balanced decision. Can I have another one on angel of balance and yin yang? strength it's funny because when this flew out this is what i saw in my mind the strength card so yeah this is all t some decision you need to make and look angel strength right but right beside it you need to pull on your inner strength to make some kind of a decision in a situation where someone's being deceitful tell me about angel of strength please one card angel of strength wheel yeah you're gonna new beginning for sure you're going to turn the wheel whatever this is this decision has not been easy for you not at all if not you someone else tell me about deceit why is deceit here queen of pentacles and the wake-up call um this is like well i call it the wake-up call because one day i got a message that this was a wake-up call and then judgment flew out on top of it and i was like yep so now it's my wake up call card. So we have someone coming in to wake someone up. This is a return to action. And we have the queen of pentacles. So this has to do with deceit in some way. Is it about money? Is someone, let me get one more on deceit. Why is deceit here, please? Can we get another card on deceit? Truth. Oh, there's some kind of truth and clarity coming out. Could have to do with, well, this is you, Taurus. So there's some kind of truth and clarity coming in. It's going to return the situation to action. It's going to turn the wheel. It's going to allow for a brand new beginning. Let's look at anxiety. Tell me more about anxiety, please. Why is it here? What comes next? These are cards of what comes next. Tell me about the anxiety. Oh, hold on one sec, guys. I got to turn it on. Oh, gosh. I almost lost the battery. I wasn't in here when the first warning went on. So sorry. Okay, this is a lot of cards. We're going to put them back and do that again because that's way too many. Tell me about it. Anxiety. Taurus reading. One card for anxiety. Yeah, it's over. Your anxiety is done or something's coming to closure here in a situation that's been very stressful. Uh, I do feel like I, I do feel like it's uh, very possible you're going to move out of a stressful situation. Could have been some kind of commitment here, moving away from a commitment. And the reason I feel you're moving away from it, because at the bottom of the deck, we also have the uh, nine of pentacles and the four of pentacles releasing so whatever you've been holding on to so tightly or somebody's been holding on to so tightly someone's going to release it someone's definitely going to release it this has been too stressful there's been a lot of stress someone knows something somebody knows something about someone who's and you know this is your card Taurus, the uh, Hierophant, this, you're letting go of some kind of com commitment. You're going to release it, and Spirit says, release, please release, and you stand alone. But this is standing alone in confidence, very secure, very independent, very um, high-vibing. I feel as though you're going to, if the, at, the very release, at the very least, you're going to release a lot of anxiety here. I feel like you're going to have to speak some truth about something that's been going on here, though. I do. Let me just take a quick peek. So we have planning an action with the hangman in the moon. Planning an action about something that you've been looking at. 
that's been murky, that's been hidden, could have to do with the Pisces. Behind the mask, we could have a Scorpio involved who's hiding something as well. There's greed involved in this situation. There's the possibility of a new beginning and someone who wants to stand beside someone who's really gone through the ringer here. Uh, it's going to happen quickly and it's going to bring in some kind of new beginning. The choice has not been easy. We have yin yang and the angel of balance saying something here has really got to be considered a balance, right? Someone's going to make a decision. It's taken all the strength they have really to do this because we have the angel of strength here as well as the strength card and turn that wheel. It's taking strength to balance something out, to actually make a decision to turn this wheel, to at, make it so that we can have a brand new beginning here with this brand new, beautiful path, new like a baby, brand new, new cycle, complete new cycle. This old cycle is definitely closing out with the death card and a new cycle is quickly going to follow. Um, so somebody is actually taking some kind of action here. Um, somebody who's been shut down is now going to spring back into action to come in, bring some truth and clarity into this deceitful situation where something was being hidden, something toxic was going on here, I feel. Deceit is like the devil. Um, there's some kind of truth and clarity coming in about this. Um, I definitely think that you're going to be independent, whether it's you putting a stop to this anxiety or spirit stepping in and saying, we're going to, we're going to take this out of your hands. You're going to be on your own, but you're going to be much better for it, whatever this is. And it has to do with some kind of commitment, whether it's a spiritual bond, a physical bond, a contract, whether it's spiritual or physical, uh, whatever kind of bond this is. All right, let's get a few angel cards here. Angels, for anyone who resonates with this Taurus reading, for anyone who resonates, what do they need to know about or focus on from the bottom, please? Tenderness, openness, and creativity. So these are pretty um, basic cards. Um, creativity for me can be work, but something being open being creative give it for me tenderness is usually self-love having to do with like be easy on yourself um i want to get one more here from the bottom play really nice okay so whatever happens here I feel like someone has to be open with someone as in open and honest with someone. When we're open and honest with someone, it could be in a work arena. It doesn't have to be. Um, it's going to lead to a lot more compassion, caring, and a lot more fun. Because I feel like somebody has been holding a deep, dark secret almost. Like something, something that you know about needs to be pretty much blown up i feel like somebody's doing something sneaky and shady and it's up to you to be the one to expose it that's what i really feel now if this is not this could be the other way around and this could actually be someone around you and you're somehow involved anyway guys i hope this makes sense very intriguing reading um it definitely looks like something's go about to be exposed. Definitely. By you or around you. And it could also involve, there's Leo and Pisces are here very strongly and Scorpio. Leo, Pisces, Scorpio are coming through very, very strongly in your reading. All right. I hope that helps. Anyway, um, you know, and it could be in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, whatever it is, Jupiter sign. I don't know because my readings are for all placements. So you could really watch any of my readings and resonate with them depending on um, where your placements are. Anyway, guys, I hope that this um, helps somebody in some way. It's a bit cryptic. So if you want to comment down below and let me know if you um, 
Now, this could be a decision you're making about a Leo um, or a Pisces or a Scorpio. Anyway, guys, please let me know um, if this resonated with you. If we're connecting energy, comment down below. If you need a full personal reading, this is just a short oracle reading. But if you need a full personal reading, my information is directly beneath this video in the description box. Just reach out to me by email. My email is there. Price of readings is there. Um, PayPal's there. Everything's there right beneath this video. Okay, guys, have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.